Sharon Danley here with two minute tips healthy beauty and confident aging. Baking soda, a clarifier, volumizer, and yellow remover. Who knew this little box of power could do all these things for gray hair? Besides all the other things it's known for, including attending to burns, which immediately removes the intense sting and prevents scarring. Anyway, back to hair. Aiming for my usual slightly straight hair look, achieved with three Velcro rollers to give it lift with a slight bend and easy to sleep on given their placement. Okay, rollers out and now a simple comb through. Having decanted baking soda into this perfect little squeeze applicator, I simply part the hair, squeeze on some of the baking soda, and either smoosh it now or wait till later. And I only go in the areas where I need the volume, crown, the circumference of the crown, etc. Now that the roots are done, I apply more to my hands and rub them together and go down the shaft of the hair in areas where I want a little bit more texture or volume. Now for the back, using the same process as for the sides. Hmm, anybody else identify with the notorious cow look or two at the crown of one's hair? Okay, it's time for the back combing with my usual barber's comb. And the thing that I love about back combing besides adding some volume is it gives moldability to the hair. And I also make sure to go around the hairline at the sides and the back. Wow, the 60s are back. Okay, time to tame this mane down. And I need to point out that I have no extensions or hair padding or anything with this baking soda. So I've futz and smush and move and all that sort of thing. Check out the back with a, a brush over the top layer to make sure it's nice and smooth looking. And then do some final lifting with the rat tail of my comb. Finally spritz with the John Frieda hairspray, which I currently love and have been loving for a while and put a little bit on my hands actually and run it through my bangs on then spray more on my hand and run it through the sides just to make sure that top layer of hair or cuticles is down and smooth. Yep, I think it's time to move that bang down just a little bit more, smooth it out and one final spritz of the hairspray to hold it in place and I think I'm good to go. Here's that same baking soda process with my curly or wavy hair. I have no extensions or hair padding in this shot. And what I love too is that when I go to shampoo my hair, because I already have some baking soda in it, I shampoo and it clarifies and brightens my hair. I never have any yellow. It's wonderful. Simple, cost-effective, multitasking approach to bright, clean, volumized hair that's oh so chic. We'll see you next time.